All right, this is isolarplanet.com, and we are going to teach you how to make a charged PSP using an onion, kitchen utensils, and most importantly, an official Sony PSP charger. There's a Gatorade in the onion, a little bit of a screwdriver, the USB adapter, and the PSP. And look, folks, it is not charged. This is an experiment to show you why sticking cords into your vegetables is not good. Stick with solar panels, people. Okay. The two cups of water is in the jug, and now let's perforate that onion so the electrolytes seep through. Oh, here we go. That is one perforated onion. So, oh man, it's gonna eat up those electrolytes. Okay. Now make sure those holes are submerged. And there we go. Half submerged onion soaking up electrolytes for, we need to do it for 30 minutes according to that other video. Okay, there's 34 minutes, let's head on up. Okay. Mildly soggy onion, it's pretty good. Electrolyte saturation, 57%. All right, here's a moment of truth. Now, usually a mini USB adapter can't charge anything, but since we're working with onions, I thought I'd give it a shot. And if this doesn't work, we could try like a pickle or something. All right. Where, where's the jack on here? There we go. Uh-oh. But it's got electrolytes. Oh man, I gotta tweeze this thing? That's, I hate this. All right, let's try the official PSP charger instead of the onion. Charge the PSP. I don't know. And look, the light comes on. That's right. The PSP official charger saves the day. But look. It's all nice and clean. I use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to get the onion matter out. It's all fun and games until someone gets hurt, I tell you that. Be careful when sticking the jack into your computer because you can get an electric shock. Computers hate onions. Okay. USB connection. USB mode. And there we go. We have access to the files. Thanks everybody for visiting isolarplanet.com. We want you to check out some of our articles on solar panels and get you acquainted with getting solar panels outfitted on your home for a much cleaner environment and a better future.